Hey there everyone and welcome to another video from the Retro Game Planet. We're going to be going all the way back to 1989 for the brilliant Rick Dangerous on the Commodore Amiga, which was developed by Core Design and published by Firebird Software. What an absolutely brilliant, iconic game this is. Let's get in there and give this one a play. Okay, level one, South America 1945, Rick Dangerous crash lands his plane over the Amazon while searching for the lost Gulu tribe. But by a terrible twist of fate, he lands in the middle of a bunch of wild Gulus. Can Rick escape these angry Amazonian antagonists? Well, we're about to find out. Here we go. So we've got the iconic start to this game where the minute you set off, a giant boulder starts chasing you. And uh, if it collides with you, it's instant death. And the brilliant moment that once you get out of the way, it collides with an enemy who also can be crushed by the boulder and with the scream of death is no more. So moving into the next screen and the gameplay. So you've got a gun and uh, at the top of the screen you can see the number of bullets, so I've got five left. You've also got sticks of dynamite which you can use either to kill the enemy or to uh, blow up areas and you'll see that shortly in the level. Uh, there's also going to be other hazards along the way, for example missiles that are going to get fired at you. And you also need to try and map out the level because if I'd have jumped straight down there for example, I'd have gone straight onto the spikes and died. So, very much a puzzle game as much as, uh, as anything else. So a lot of this game is about learning the levels, it's a bit about trial and error. And uh, I don't want to do that actually. Reset the level. So I'm going to lure some of these down before you can shoot it and kill it, which I've just done. Okay, and there is, in the nick of time, some ammo, which is what we need, because I've only got two bullets left. Now you can destroy the ammo crate, so it's, you want to make sure you don't uh, destroy it. I'm going to fall down this side now. Again, if I had just let myself fall, I would have landed on spikes, it would have been curtains. Shoot this back, fall down quickly, and uh, again, joystick to the left so you don't hit them spikes. And then uh, we've got an area here where we can use some dynamite here to blow this block away. Well, what an awesome game this is. Uh, don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoy the video and if you enjoyed Rick Dangerous on the Amiga. And please do support me by subscribing and hitting the notification bell. Now, these bits here you also need to uh, blow up because you're going to die if you collide with them. Don't get too close because it's instant death. Oh, that was close. Now that noise pretty much indicates the respawn point, so if I die now, I'm going to start on this screen. And with this game, it is all about practice. The more you play it, uh, the better you'll do, the more you'll remember, and the less traps you're going to fall into. I'll get under this gate. We've got some dynamite over there, which is good, because I've only got three sticks left. Now these are... Uh there is a way of killing these which is really clever where there's a missile that can fire across the screen but I'm just going to try and do it the easy way if I can. And even how long you play the game I don't always remember where the missiles are going to fire from so best to play it safe sometimes. Some of them are dormant like that one there on the bottom left. So I've got six lives and trust me they can soon go. Now there's some levers here. Now you can see what happens there. If I'd have stayed in the way, I'd have got crushed by that block. I'll press this lever. That's going to open this part so I can get across. And down we go to the next screen. Now this is particularly tricky. If you just jump up there, as you can see, you're going to get shot. Some of them, as I say, you'll learn which ones are active and which ones aren't as you play through the game. Now, I've only got one bullet left, so this is going to be problematic now. So I'm going to have to box clever, and what I'm going to do here is jump across. That's it. And you can see the enemies also can die when they hit the spike. So here we go. I'm going to try and get there. We go. Get it to jump down. So again, try and conserve your ammo. Slightly concerned that I'm going to get shot there. Um, this one. So what I'm going to do is, as it comes towards me, I'm going to run that way. Oh, I didn't make it. 
So I'm going to respawn here at the respawn point. Careful not to get shot again. Not too bad because now I'm full of uh, full of ammo again. So I guess I don't have to uh, try and be clever about the tactics. I can just shoot the enemies instead. Oh, where's the fun in that? See you later. Off it goes. There we go. Got to be careful again. I don't remember which ones. Now this one here at the top. What you want to do here is try and get it to do that. That's it. Jump off. Up we go. It's probably the most difficult area of the level here. Hopefully we can get up and across, get the bullets, shoot the enemy. It's a long way to go this without being able to respawn. I can't remember if that shoots now and that's going to worry me a little bit. We're going to have to go with it. There we go. Let's get out of here. Duck. Now you can see there, just in the background, there are like changes to the background and that's like the stairs. I can't remember quite what to do here. No, we're not going to make that, I don't think. Or are we? I don't see any ladders. This is going to be it. Oh, I nearly got killed. Oh, this is the toughest part of the level. Oh, I did it. And you got to be ready to shoot straight away. No respawn points, so it's tough, this. It's a long way back from here. Okay, here we go. Up we go. Gotta be so careful now, we don't want to get shot. Oh, I've been shot! Okay, it's not too bad, the respawn point is uh, moved forward, so at least we're further along. We know what we're doing here, we've just got this last bit to... Uh, now the stairs on this side. So it might be worth trying to go this way instead. Fast as we can. That's it. What we get? Down. Careful, we're gonna have to jump straight away. Let's go. Gotta get up there, gotta kill it. Oh no, what have I done? Oh, I nearly killed myself with dynamite. What a silly thing to do. I'm playing it safe. Oh, oh I don't believe it. Dead again. We're starting all the way back here. Come on, we really want to finish this level. We want to get on to level two. Brilliant game though, absolutely fantastic. One of the best games on the Amiga, in my opinion. Let me know what you think about that statement in the comments. Okay, here we go. Right, so this is where we got to last time when we died. Don't need the ammo, so I'm not going to risk it. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, unbelievable. Right. So I've remembered all the beginning parts of the level, but this bit, I don't remember any of it. So we are, I don't practice a lot of these videos, just get on with it. Well, there's no fun in there. Just having a perfect video all the time, not doing a playthrough. So I may as well. Here we go. Get up there. Okay. I've only got a couple of uh, guns left. Here we go. And uh, jump out of the way. Oh, there we go. Can we get a crap? Oh no! Oh, this is dangerous. This is so dangerous. You've got to make the jump. And I've been killed. That's game over. So I didn't finish the first level, but that is Rick Dangerous on the Amiga. What a game it is. It's so much fun. You've got to give it a try. But thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.